Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments dying, dying to know where I get all my cool gaming shirts, but that's a different story. What we're gonna be talking about today is how to become a better programmer when you're just starting out. How to really say, look, I understand the code that I'm writing and the, or that you're writing, but I can't seem to break it down mentally how to get to that next level as a programmer so I can solve problems and how it can become easier for me to learn. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And the first thing that I highly suggest to you, I've had every every mentor I've ever had, every teacher, every professor, every, every, every boss always suggest visualizing the process. What is it that I'm trying to do? So in the case of let's repeat a string so many times, don't start writing the code out. Take out a pen and paper or whiteboard. Whiteboards are amazing. I highly suggest you get a whiteboard and start drawing it out. Be like, okay, draw a word, say hello world. And I want it two times, hello world, hello world. How do I get to that process and draw it out? And maybe you need to just write hello world times two equals hello world, hello world. Okay, that's a place to start. And from that visualization, the juices will get turning and you'll start figuring it out. It will help uh, every time. Every time I ask for a problem, half the time, uh, ask for help for a problem, half the time, by the time I'm done asking and keep on trying to phrase it correctly and it helps me to visualize it, I figured it out. I'm like, oh, never mind. And this can ha this will help you become the next level of how do I figure a problem out just by drawing it out word for word. It doesn't have to be in code. Just draw it out logically and then try and figure out each little bit how to get there. So the next thing is documentation. And what I mean by that is all these great programming languages, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, C++, all of them, they all help have amazing documentation, some better than others. But if you're trying to code something, with an array. You need to know what you can do with an array in that language. You need to know what there's built in because you may be spending all this time trying to grow something or build something that may or maybe already be built in. It's already a function, a method, and you just need to go ahead and, and ask and read through. Just don't scan the code, read through and fully understand what the documentation does and what it can do for you. Use it to your advantage. There's no shame in not writing something if there's already built in into the library. That's what it's all about. Write the most efficient code you can and best code and code that works. And last but not least, comments. Comment everything. I mean that. If there's a variable comment, if there's an if statement comment, if there's a for loop comment, if you're creating a new object comment, comment what it does and why it's needed. So this is a count variable. And this int keeps track of count for this for loop to terminate or this while loop to terminate. And then, you know, while this is true, keep on concatenating the string, keep on adding the string onto the end and comment everything. Not necessarily because you're gonna forget this moment, but when you go back months from now, a year from now, even a week from now, you're gonna be trying to remember what is what do these hundred lines of code do? I, I don't fully remember, and you're gonna spend most of your time scanning your code, going step by step, instead of just reading the comments. The comments need to be there so that if you were to print out your program, you could organize the comments to a way where you could understand how this program would work. And these are the three tips that are really gonna make your life easier as a programmer, easier to learn and easier to get better. So visualize it, draw it out. Just don't do it in your head, draw it out, look at it. Second, documentation. Understand it, see what it does, and make sure you don't make it harder on yourself. I've written tons of codes that I haven't looked at the documentation and realized, oh my God, I just spent two hours writing something that I could have put just math.max or something along those lines. And finally, the comments, because you're gonna be reusing your code over your programming career and you're going to need stuff that's going to repeat and why put yourself through all that stress and all that irritation and especially when you're working with groups of people they need to understand what it does because they may be working on a separate part of the project because coding is not just a single man job it's a multi-man job and you need to be able to work well with others and comments really help to make that easier so as always guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it kind of expanded your horizons on three basic things that you should already be doing and if you're not definitely implement these into your programming regimen and as always um don't forget to like the video subscribe that really helps me out a ton and leave me um some comments and constructive criticism always appreciated so i'll see you guys in the next video Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.